that you are, are, are have more value than you recognize because within you there is word and anything attached to you is trying to attach itself to the word y'all ain't hearing me in here real good uh, you might cry uh, but if you put baby on the end that's a cry baby which means you cry uh, abnormally you cry about anything you cry about everything I got to find somebody in here I can talk to and what the devil wants to do is he doesn't mind you having had the word saved applied to you but he wants to put a prefix on unsaved y'all ain't gonna push me but I got to carry what God told me look at a neighbor and say neighbor ain't it something that some people can see God in you but other folk don't do nothing but see your past they can't see nothing but the wrong you've done that's because they can't go where you're going only them that can see the salvation on you that's why I'm never moved by folk who go to church but all they do is talk about negative all they do is talk about problems all they do is talk about things going wrong I know you're not going where I'm going and I'm just hearing you talk but it ain't getting in my system you ain't gonna test your problems to me cause I got a God that's working on my problems I got a way maker I got a miracle worker. I, I got a light in the dark. Don't add a takeaway. Can I tell you, and I'm out of here. Can I tell you that what God said to me blew my mind. He said the problem is the devil knows I live in you. And I have already read the scriptures that said the world belongs to me. Everything in it belongs to me. What you think is me and not me still belongs to me. Earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and all they that dwell. I got to find me a church. The power that folk think is there is mine. The wealth that folk think is there is mine. I got to find somebody to talk to. The riches they think they own is mine. Uh, who can I talk to in here? That's why when I get ready, I can shift you at any moment and tell you that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the church folk don't know when to dance I'm like God what are you saying to me he said the reason why the devil is fighting them so hard now especially this year when I'm opening doors of opportunity to blow their minds is because he does not want them to let me walk in them because wherever he goes in me I begin to take back what already belongs to God but it's not holy wherever I go God wants it to belong to him but he only wants holy things so I'm not coming back to earth I already did it once I want to walk in you and let you walk on some property that belong to a strip club but it can feed the homeless and convert it into something can't find a church to push me in here he said I want you to tell all my members that belong to the body I got to go that belong to the body of Christ that I want to take them some places that's going to blow their minds they would have never thought of going there they would have never thought of being there they would have never said I'm going to be an entrepreneur he said but I need somebody that'll let me walk in them and wherever I take them they'll be able to walk in dominance they will then be able to take back what belongs to me and make it holy unto God y'all ain't heard me yet until you get your car notes 
until you get the deed to your house. It ain't even yours yet. And if you're not careful, they'll take it and give it to somebody else. But if the government really wants it, they call it eminent domain. In other words, you're in a place that we want to use for the good of the state or the country. So you can either get out or we can give you a little something. It ain't worth as much as you think in our eyes because it belongs to the government. The land you're living on that you pay taxes, it belongs to the government. And if we want it, we'll take it. I'm glad we serve a God that says to the child of God, it's time for you. And I got to go on over time. It's time for you to walk in your kingdom inheritance. Tell a neighbor it's my time. I can't find nobody to push it in here. I said tell a neighbor it is my time. Things that God wants back. He's putting it in my spirit. Lord have mercy I said he's putting it in my spirit He's got me looking at property That I never looked at He's got me talking about things I ain't never talked about I got to find me a church in here Look at a neighbor and say Neighbor You must have forgotten the scriptures That goes like this Eyes have not seen Ears have not heard Neither has it entered into perfect uh, the heart of me uh, the things that God has prepared uh, for them that love him uh, not your neighbor and say neighbor uh, God got some secrets uh, locked up inside of you Lord have mercy y'all ain't caught it yet uh, cause you ought to be tearing the church apart uh, I said tell a neighbor God uh, got some secrets uh, locked up inside of you uh, and little by little uh, he's taking you uh, to places you never imagined uh, little by little uh, he's letting you meet people uh, that you never thought you would meet giving you something uh, that you worked for. Uh, I'm giving you an inheritance uh, that belonged to me all the time. Uh, who can I preach to in here? Uh, you better hear me in your spirit uh, that God got some secrets uh, that belong to him. Uh, but he's using you to get him back. Uh, not the neighbor and say neighbor. Uh, God's getting ready to take you somewhere. Uh, and he's getting ready to do something with you uh, that has never been done in your family tell them if you've never been a millionaire tell them you're getting ready to be the first y'all just won't push it I said tell your neighbor my family ain't never been out of Connecticut but I'm getting ready to own property in more than three states so God got something locked up inside of me that he's ready to give me now he said don't you get weary in well doing because I'm working on something inside of you that's gonna blow your mouth They doing you a favor when they open the door. People gonna act like they doing you a great service because they let you get their number. But what you don't understand is God opened the door. Who can I preach to in here? The next segment of my season is God opening the door. Who can I talk to in here? I ain't got a knock this time. God is opening the door. Just like Peter in prison. Bible said he 
it was impregnable. But he sent an angel. And the angel never touched the door. He woke Peter up and said, let's go. Shackles fell off of him. Got to the first door, the door opened. Nobody pushed it. Nobody unlocked it. I'm trying to find a preacher in here. Gotta help me push this message. Look at another saved in here. And say, God is opening doors. And nobody got their hands off. Shake a neighbor's hand and I got to go. My 10 minutes up. Shake a neighbor's hand and say, neighbor. People think I need an upgrade. But the God that serves, his children don't need an upgrade. And if my God don't need an upgrade, then I don't need an upgrade. I got the perfect plan. I got the perfect plan of salvation. When he died, he died the perfect death and gave me the perfect salvation. So I don't have to. Y'all miss me in here. I don't have to go through changes. I can let the devil know he saved me once. You can't have me back no more. And now I suffer for a little while. It's my time to get my inheritance.